Welcome back to another episode of Out Loud Geek, where we discuss news and views about pop culture, science fiction, fantasy, food, cooking, the outdoors, and more. It's time, once again, for those egocentric attention whores, Harry and Meghan. After seeing some interesting news reports, I decided it was time to do a second video regarding Prince Harry's forthcoming book that's entitled Spare. I released my first video on this subject on January 2nd in a video that was entitled Spare Harry's Tell-All Book Might Destroy Reconciliation Hopes with William. So what has Prince Harry done now? Well, thanks to comments that he wrote in his forthcoming book, he has been accused of turning against the entire British military, which forces me to ask the following question. Did Harry or his publisher ever consider having his statements reviewed by the British military beforehand in order to determine their appropriateness before making them public? Having served in the British military himself for a decade, that doesn't seem to be the case. And it vividly illustrates why the royal family has a staff that, among other things, helps to review statements before they are publicly released. But because Harry and Meghan quit the royal family on March 31st, 2020, they no longer have a royal staff to perform that service, and it doesn't appear that they have since hired a PR team of their own to carry out similar reviews. What's also interesting is that people found out about Harry's statements long before his book's official release date on January 10th. That's because the Spanish-language version of the book was accidentally released early in Spain which has given various news outlets the ability to obtain copies, which they have been quickly translating back into English. And it didn't take long for news outlets to discover that Harry wrote some rather questionable statements about his military service, then include comments about his actions in Afghanistan, which I'm not actually going to quote within this video. I'll leave it up to viewers themselves to read those statements on their own. Retired British commander Colonel Tim Collins has reportedly said that Prince Harry has turned against the British military and has condemned Harry's book, calling it a, quote, tragic money-making scam, unquote. He then went on to say, quote, that's not how you behave in the army. It's not how we think. He has badly let the side down. Harry has now turned against the other family, the military, that once embraced him having trashed his birth family. In the end, I only see disappointment and misery in his pursuit of riches he does not need and his rejection of family and comradely love that he badly needs." Unquote. CNN reported that the UK's former national security advisor, Kim Derrick, who was the British ambassador to the United States from 2016 to 2019, told Sky News that he would have advised Harry against making the statements. And British Army Colonel Richard Kemp told Sky News that Harry's comments not only tarnished his own reputation, but also unjustly painted the British Army in a negative light. Kemp also told the Mirror, All the good work Prince Harry did on behalf of the armed forces has been undermined by his comments. Not only has he gone too far in talking about this in terms of himself, but it may have repercussions for others. As a member of the royal family, he has to accept being something of an ambassador for the UK, so his comments may affect the security of his former comrades on foreign operations. Major General Chip Chapman not only described Prince Harry as being, quote, naively stupid, unquote, he has also said the following, quote, We have a code of conduct. It's the values and standards of the military. He's broken at least four of those values. That includes respect for others, integrity, loyalty, and selfless commitment, unquote. On Thursday, former Royal Marine Ben McBean, who had lost an arm and a leg during his military service and was described by Prince Harry as a hero after the pair had met at several events, wrote the following on his Twitter account. Love you, Prince Harry, but you need to shut up. Makes you wonder about the people he's hanging around with. If it was good people, somebody by now would have told him to stop. I had a feeling that Harry's book, Spare, was only going to hurt his own reputation. And it looks like that is exactly what he is doing. It also shows just how little Prince Harry was actually prepared to deal with the real world on his own without the assistance of the royal family or its staff. Thanks for watching today. And a huge thanks to everyone who has subscribed to our channel. We appreciate your support. If you enjoyed this video, please press the like button 
and please feel free to share a comment. If you'd like to see more of our videos in the future and help support this channel, please press the red subscribe button and please press the bell to receive notifications for new content. You can also find us on Facebook and Twitter by clicking on the links in the description. Until next time, this is Out Loud Geek.